Afternoon YouTube, it's your boy Leonard to be cooler. About to talk about growing in season one finale. Oh, the whole season as a whole, basically, but mostly focusing on the finale because that was the clip and that was the moment everybody's been waiting for between those three guys. You know what I'm saying? I really like how they do flashbacks with that old TV, you know, ratio thing. It's it's amazing. But it was kind of obvious who was going to win if you didn't see it. Sometimes they give you it visually. Like I'm going to show how the episode began and how basically it ended. And how they basically showed you the same shot visually to show you who was going to win. And it made sense on paper. Like, And it's an interesting choice going forward. Like... Luca does do some things that you know Zoe doesn't agree with so the fact that Zoe can just be herself with Luca does me doesn't mean that Luca can just be himself with Zoe that's a good question you know what I'm saying I mean it was an interesting dynamic the whole Aaron relationship the whole cash relationship the whole crew cast I mean cast relationship was amazing you know, from the twins, from Francesca, to the drug dealer, to even Charlie. It was just amazing. Like, the show was fantastic. This finale, everybody had they shine. Sure, it was focusing on one particular co like topic, but everybody had their moment. Like, their personalities really shined in, in this episode to say farewell, to want to see more of these people, which was fantastic. I mean, I really loved the classroom dynamic when they were talking about Pablo, but also Zoe at the same time to show how smart the show is. But also, they showed that Cash wasn't going to win in that whole conversation, like visually. And... You just got to pay attention and you'll see the inches and bits they just hand out to you sometimes to know who's going to win. I really like the girl dynamic of Kill, uh, Smash, Mary Kill, I think that's what it is. I like, I'm excited to see what goes on in the rest of this. I think Francia's, I think that's her real name, right? And Aaron should be more of a night on next season because they challenge each other more. Like, Aaron did challenge Zoe, but I feel like Aaron needs somebody to challenge him also. And I feel like she would challenge him. Also, the twins, I want to see more of their sporting life and their relationship lives because one of them started dating. The other one probably should also like grow the group. And the girl who's bisexual, I feel like she should also, you know, find love again. Maybe have an open mind than she did with that whole thing. And also a dude who was bisexual and her having an issue with it. Like it tackles a lot of conversations from drugs to sex to policies, activism. Like it was a great first season. I legit give it a 10 out of 10. Like it tackled everything. It's an American show about American college, and I'm South African, I, and I could relate to it. Made me miss varsity, made miss, you know, the experience of finding yourself. I'm still finding myself, so it made me so relatable. You know what I'm saying? So ten out of ten, legit. Humor was on point. It was smart. The whole Zoe breaking the fourth wall idea was amazing. Like, this is a great spinoff of another show I think is a 10 out of 10 black so yeah really enjoyed it I'm hoping to see more in the future and I hope it gets more episodes yo deuces